What's going on guys? Nasty day in the overall futures market as well as the overall stock market as a whole, right? So we know we had those CPI numbers come out today. Market did not like that. Uh, I think a lot of people are thinking that 100 basis point interest rate hike could be on the table. Um, with that kind of being taken into account, a lot of you guys in Discord know I've been trading a ton of futures. I just like the way that they move. Easy, uh, very, very liquid. Um, to get in and out of and you know you can make some really good money and you can use all of the same strategies you use to trade common stocks to trade options it's all the same thing as long as there's candlesticks and a chart that you can use you can trade any uh, asset class so i really do like futures if you guys want to trade futures check the links down in my description box below get you guys all set up but with that being taken into account i also like trading futures because there's no gaps right we essentially have a uh, 23 hour a day market six days a week right futures markets are going to open back up on sundays um and we're not necessarily going to have any of these gap ups like the indexes or a lot of stocks will have so the charts are very very easy and clean to read if we kind of look at what's been going on here with the nasdaq which is what i have and starting off with the daily time frame the nasdaq yesterday looked very 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 solid and the reason why i say that we came off of this five day moving average, reclaimed the 50 and 20 day moving average, got back up into this upper channel line here and looked very, very good over 12,862 to potentially start testing that $13,000 level on the NASDAQ. In fact, I was coming in if the market reacted good to the CPI numbers, I was completely bullish here coming into today with a lot of room to run now obviously the market had different a different idea and we have to as a trader understand that and not have such a hard bias but also make sure that we can adapt and react very very quickly so what i'm looking at now on the nasdaq is we did lose the 50-day moving average we did lose our short-term sentiment meaning normally Guys, normally, not all of the time, but normally, whoever controls the five and 10 day moving average, okay, on a daily candles close, typically con uh, controls the next day's sentiment. So what I will be watching is not to try to go long and to try to be some sort of superhero with psychedelic powers or, or uh, you know, fortune teller uh, powers and try to predict that, hey, maybe tomorrow we dead cat bounce. No, if we did cat bounce, fine. I'm going to need another day to confirm to kind of let me know, hey, you know what? We've, we've taken out some levels of supply here. We've reclaimed some areas um, and now we look better going to the long side. I'm not going to try to be some hero and try to time the bottom here. What I'm going to want to do here is as long as we are trading below the 50 day moving average, below the five and 10 day moving average, I will completely ignore all of the bounces and wait for the continuation flushes through the previous day's low. That's going to be the easiest and smartest thing you can do. And it's going to also create a lot less stress and a lot less headaches. And you're going to be able to make some very, very good money trading the NAS. So whether you're trading micros or minis, you are going to make, make a lot of money trading as long as you're able to stay disciplined and stay patient. So the level that I'm looking for currently now, again, we can still make new lows, but I'm going to act as if the day is coming to a close. Let's say right now, I would be looking for a continuation tomorrow through 12,261, which is the current day's lows. If that remains as stands, that number will be valid going into tomorrow, which is going to be the 14th of September. I will look for a continuation through today's lows. Now, we don't have any, you know, macro level of demand, which is support until around 18,900. That would be the next area. That would be where I want to clean up profits. If you're just looking to take day trades, you're looking to just scalp, you can take a very, very easy scalp through today's lows. Uh, make sure you take your profits along the way. You don't want to get snubbed, especially if you're trading uh, some of the bigger contracts here on the NASDAQ futures. Now, if we look at a smaller time frame and kind of get a 
different perspective here because you would expect a dead cat bounce at some point in time. Remember, when the stock market is good, it doesn't just go straight up. And when the stock market is bad, it doesn't just go straight down. So what I'm looking at here on the one hour time frame on the NASDAQ is we are basing out here, okay? So we are creating a line in the sand here that we need to take notice of. And that price is uh, that $12,268 area. So as soon as we lose this area and we start to make a new low, that's the short position that I'm going to want to be involved in. But again, I can see a bounce here back up over the 200, back up over this 150, any type of bounce into 1245, somewhere in this vicinity here. I'm going to go ahead and completely ignore, okay? Unless I'm trading like a two minute or a five minute time frame, something where I'm going to set small risk on, I will look to potentially take a little scalp over this 12, 3, 6, 4 area, but get out, get in and get out very, very quickly. Nothing worth holding, right? But in this zone here, right? In this zone here that I'm kind of moving my cursor across, I will look for some sort of rejection. If we do get a rejection in this area and then we start to get another one of these, right? So more consolidation like this and we get it in this range here i would be expecting the drop back down now this macro flush here through this level i keep talking about this 12 uh to 6 area this is the juicy trade that i want to be involved in this is the next leg down here as soon as we start to consolidate i want like i would like to see a bounce okay short-term bounce one two-day bounce i would like to see this bounce here and then i'd like to see some more consolidation and when i see this consolidation that's when i'm going to start licking my chops waiting for this downturn and when this downturn starts to happen and it starts to lose these levels of demand again and then it loses this 12 to 6 range here uh, today's lows that's when i want to go all in and i want to take this very very aggressive short position here because i know i've got a lot of room to the downside i hope that video makes sense if you guys are interested in learning how to trade futures you guys would like some more levels on an intraday basis make sure to join my discord if you guys uh have no idea how to trade futures or know how much money you actually need to trade futures i work with a prop firm so i trade for a prop firm us based of course i don't mess around with any of that overseas nonsense um but I trade for a US based prop firm. We do trade futures, uh, funded up to $150,000 worth of capital there. And again, I also trade options. So if you guys are interested in trading options on you know different equities, Apple, Tesla, Nvidia, SPY, Triple Qs, make sure to join Discord. I'll help you guys out with that as well. Trade with over 100 people in that community live each and every single day. I will see you guys all on the next video. I wish you guys all much success remember guys patience is a virtue make sure to understand what you're doing before you actually do it um, a lot of people just kind of rush into things and that can tend to lead to bad outcomes so with that being said i'll see you guys all tomorrow and to those of you guys who decide to join i will see you guys all behind closed doors